Hey guys, what's up? Dustin here once again, back with another dip review, and it's a special one. <laughs> Sorry I've been gone all these weeks, two weeks to be exact. Uh, I'll make up for that. I'll be making four videos probably back to back, if not the day after. We we'll make four videos. Be on the lookout for those. Uh, so yeah. And today's dip, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is the very hard to find, very sparse, or sparse, or however the fuck you say it, it is hidden, um, but it is, ladies and gentlemen, Cope Whiskey Blend on Cut. Yes. Oh, I'm drunk. Ugh. <laughs> but yes, Coat Whiskey Blend. Um, yeah, I have been looking everywhere for this stuff, and I finally found myself a fucking can. Uh, Renaman Tobacco Store near the Walmart. Just so now, in case y'all live in North Carolina, or live in Asheboro, North Carolina, <laughs> and you want this stuff, there it is. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go with Tin Design. Uh, gonna get up close, like always. Alright, here it is, uh, Cope Raised Letters, not Copenhagen, Cope Raised Letters, uh, WC Raised Letters, the diamond is to, uh, this is the strip, like, you see the strip right here that I'm pointing at? That's raised up. Uh, Whiskey Blend, long cut at the top, gold strip. Uh, like a gold rainbow strip right there. Shouldn't call it a rainbow. I don't care. Whatever. Gold around the rim. Warning label. <laughs> Side of the can. Sorry, let me go here. There we go. Uh, the WC is gold. Cope. Whiskey blend. Long cut with the. Uh, what is this called? Orange brown. Like it, it goes from here and then it curves up or it goes up and then it goes this way. So that's pretty cool. Cut whiskey blend, long cut, long cut to gold, freshcoat.com, all that information, warning label off for that information. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that is the can. And this is one sexy ass fucking can. I love this can design. I love it. It is awesome. Uh, oh yeah, it's black in the in the middle too. I forgot about that. Black in the middle. <laughs> Alright, um, so let's pack A. Bleh. And pack one with me if you want to. Alright, we're gonna go over with scent. I don't have very much of the stuff, I'm sad. But, as one lip for me. But, anyways, uh, that's a small lip though. Anyways, uh, there's the dip. You can see it is kind of dried out, kind of, not really. But, yeah, uh, here, the smell, the smell, the smell, the scent, whatever it is. It smells like a whiskey, like whiskey and tobacco. That's what it smells like. It's not as strong smelling as, um, <laughs> as, uh, Copenhagen Black. It's not as strong as that, and it's not as strong tasting, but we'll get into that. So, here it goes. Let's, uh, pack a lip. <laughs> there we go. Do, do, do. Try not to spill any. Oh, this is this is really little. How little that dip is. Hang on, there's still some more. Mm. 
I don't have my mud jug. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have my mud jug. Um, kind of sucks. But I have this nifty beer can that I cut open the top out of. <laughs> I hope I'll get my mud jug back soon. I left it at my parents' house. Dummy me. So yeah. Anyways. Right when I put it in my lip. The dip. Not, not this. But the dip. <laughs> uh, it is this nice whiskey, tobacco-y flavor. Now, it's not as strong as, say, uh, Copenhagen Black. It's not as strong as that. Uh, Copenhagen Black has more bourbon than tobacco. This has, like, whiskey and tobacco. You know what I'm saying? It has, uh, like, half and half, like... Divide up the can, they put the half, you know, or half this way, or whatever, like 50% whiskey blend, and then tobacco. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it's good. It's really good. It's dry. Now, it is, yes, it is dry. It is normal for this to be dry because it's not really easy to find uh but yeah so by june 8 2014 uh it is really hard to find um and nobody really sells it except for that store in Renman up there that i told y'all about <laughs> the tobacco store near walmart um control uh, uh, controllability I can move it anywhere in my mouth. It stays it stays packed together. Packability is really good. It stays packed. No floaters. Probably about one or two floaters. Just put them back in your uh, in your dip. <coughs> um, nicotine probably is some, but I can't feel anything. And this is my first dip of today. Pissed me off. Uh, I forgot my dip at home when I while I was working, but. Um, trailability, packability, that's all good. Um, nicotine, yes. Uh, flavor, whiskey, very good. It's, <laughs> it's really, really good. I like it. Kevin Black, Kevin Black was alright. This stuff is better than Kevin Black. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, cut, long cut. Actually, your, your typical cut. For any um, Copenhagen except for Copenhagen Straight and Wintergreen, and obviously Mint. <laughs> but yeah, uh, and uh, Cut Natty Extra Long Cut. But yeah, uh, Cut Long Cut. Um, oh yeah, uh, it's not too rough on your lips. Uh, it's not rough on your gums. It don't burn. Not unless you've been dipping it in the same place. Every day, which I do, and it kind of hurts, kind of burns, a little burn. But yeah, I dip in the. Sometimes I'll switch it up back here, sometimes, but not, not often. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, sorry if I'm coughing. Um, uh, bronchitis and all that nastiness. But anyways, that that's not even anything about the dip. Back to the dip. Um, I recommend this to everybody. Go, everybody, go try it. Seriously, uh, or uh, beginners, uh, everybody, drinkers, people who love Coke Whiskey Blend, everybody, uh, you know, people who have been dipping for like six months, go ahead and try it. Um, I recommend it to everybody. Now, <coughs> my thing as a beginner is try everything, uh, try everything. There, yeah. 
try everything because um, you might like it. Um, <laughs> overall rating from Coat Whiskey Blend, 9 out of 10. Very, very good stuff. And I'm out. And this shit was damn expensive. $4.09 a can. Holy hell. <laughs> and you have to go all the way around them to get it. Sucks ass, but it is a good dip. Um, updates on the family. <laughs> Natalie's doing really good. I'm doing really good. Even though I'm a little bit sick. Um, my fiance is doing really good. We're all doing very awesome. Uh, would be more awesome if I had my fucking mud jug, but oh well. Um. So yeah, um, uh, I'll leave my social media links down below, like always. Mud jug. Um, mud jug website. Get yourself a mud jug. It'll satis satisfy every dipping needs. And all that good stuff. Um, next video will be a dip review, or will it be? You have to find out. Oh yeah, um, spit. Uh, dark brown to light brown. It varies. Good, good amount of spit. Anyways, that's it for me, you guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Uh.